Okay. So um, I'm kind of small, so I think I'm going to be standing rather here. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Vanessa Ortiz. This is me. I'm a software engineer at LaVou. I work in the IT ops team, so I get to write open source monitoring and alerting tools. And um, also a little bit about me, I started Women Who Go here in Berlin. Uh, and I'm also the organizer of Pi Ladies, because obviously I'm trying to increase the amount of women who are working in IT because of this reason. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, and in Women Who Go, we are always looking for mentors who are Go developers and um, want to help out. It's an event that happens once a month. And um, yeah, if you're interested in helping out as a Go mentor, please contact me. And the same thing with Pi Ladies. We have an event next Tuesday, and I'm desperately searching for Django coaches who will help out at an event that will be at night. So it will be after work, and it will be chilled, and we'll give you food. And yeah, you'll help out a lot of women who are trying to learn Python. Okay, I think I have still enough of the time now. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, Jenkins Exporter that I wrote, um, not because it's amazing and great, but just because you are exactly the audience that I need because you would be using this and else I don't know who I can tell anyone else about. So um, it's based on Brian's Jenkins Exporter, um, which I can show you is right here. Uh, you'll find it under Python. I think he also posted the link on his um, slide as well. And as you can see, it really covers the basic. Brian himself told me, no, I just built this like really fast just to show an example, basically. And I'm like, okay. Um, thing is, it, it works, uh, only that for our company, we needed to expand it a little bit more because we wanted to go deeper into the tree, not just scrape um, the duration and number and timestamp, but go even deeper into the actions. Uh, and that's why I coded. I expanded it a little bit to, um, yeah, this is where the magic happens basically, to just add um, these additional uh, metrics that we needed and then um, following basically exactly his example of first creating the empty Prometheus metrics and then dumping in the additional information. Um, so as you can see, it's relatively simple. Um, the good thing, it's open source, so anyone can use it. And um, actually, I, I still have to do the pull request in case Brian is interested in merging it with the um, Python example that he has currently. Uh, else, you can find it in our Lavu repository. Um, and oh, forgot to actually show the results. So this is what you would get in our case. Um, or maybe it's easier to see it, uh, not here, but here. I just did a, so that way, these would be the additional metrics that you can get from, from that exporter. And um, I don't know, to show one example. OK, that's pretty fucked up. OK, this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be an example of, of, of uh, additional last build that you can get. and. Then what else? Oh yeah, yeah. So this is where you can find it, Lavu Jenkins exporter, and um, we also have a bunch of other exporters that are also open source. Um, if you want to save time, basically <laughs> instead of building your own, you can find them all under Lavu. Um, for example, a colleague of mine mentioned I should maybe show this one. That seems to be practical, also open sourced, and. Um, yeah, I think that's basically it. Let me see any other things that I wanted to mention. Uh, nope, that's it. Check out our repository. Uh, feel free to contribute to it. And yeah, any questions else, you can talk to me later. <laughs> Thanks.